Today's Collectible Spot, we are having a look at the Trash Pack, The Gross Gang in Your Garbage, Series 6, Rotten Eggs. You get 12 trashies inside, two of them are visible, the other ones are all contained in their little rotten eggs. Two special edition hard-boiled trashies also inside, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to be finding out for you guys. There's over 100 to collect and swap, it's for ages 5 and up, and up at the top there is a chicken. I'm assuming this chicken has not laid this egg, this is a massively large, this is like a dinosaur egg. If this chicken laid this egg... That would explain why that chicken is making that face. That is a huge, huge egg. Warning, choking hazard. Hate to break it to you, but they're small parts and small balls. Not recommend for children under three years of age. Very small guy pieces, guys. On the back of the package, though, a slew of different trash packs. There's ancient eggs, scrambled, puke, hard-boiled, egg stinked, if you see what they did right there, limited edition, and excavated uh, trash. For some reason, this one is is highlighted above all the others. It's got a big pile of goo on it. And uh, I don't know why. It's a scrambled rat, so I guess he is extremely rare. Can you find the thousandth limited edition trashy? Oh, that would be him. Yeah, I see. It pays to read. I didn't read the whole thing. I just kind of just jumped ahead. I was the guy that read the last page of the book. You can go to www.trashpack.com if you want to see more. Also, there's Common, Rare, Ultra Rare, and Special Edition. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Trash Pack Series 6 Rotten Eggs. It's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. No, no, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Included with the Rotten Eggs, you get yourself a pamphlet from the folks. If I can open this up completely from the folks over at Import Strike and Moose. There they are right there. You have ancient egg hip exhibits, once again, scrambled animals, puke eggs, hard-boiled trash, limited edition, excavated trash, and extinct trash. There are some games on the back, including Egg Cup Catch, Guess Pew, I don't know what's going on there. Each player hides a trashy in the rotten egg. Using the collector's guide, players take turns asking yes or no questions for clues about the other player's trashy. For example, is your trashy in the scrambled animals team? Does your trashy have big teeth? Is your trashy a rotten tooth tiger? If the answer to the question is yes, the asking player gets to ask another question. If the answer is no, it is the other player's turn, kind of like guess who. There's also egg flick. This looks like a, just a game of knocking over eggs. Why don't I just read it? Why don't I just read it? It says each player sets up a goal by placing two rotten eggs 20 centimeters apart as shown. Players then take turns trying to flick a trashy from their goal line through their opponent's goal. Each player to score five goals is the winner. For an additional challenge, make the goals smaller. See? That's why you were supposed to read it, Spot, because I just guessed you were supposed to knock it over. That's wrong. And lastly, Rotten Rollers. Set up six trashy characters in a triangle shape as shown. Roll your small rotten eggs at characters and try to knock them down. Each player has three rolls. Uh, in a row and try to knock over as many trashies as possible. The player that knocks over all the trashies with the least number of throws is the winner. So there you go. We're going to keep this to the side. I know well enough to know if I got I have to keep this to the side so I know the names of the trashies. The first one of the two that were, uh, were already open you know, when you get them out of packaging is this guy right here. It kind of looks like a stump, a big tree stump. He seems confused, though, or he seems concerned for something that's over here. Um, is it fire? Is it mustard on the top of his head? I don't know the answer. I don't. So I'm going to reference my guide, and that is Scum Scorcher. Just like that, I found it. That, that's actually one of the easiest finds I've done opening up trashies. Scum Scorcher. It still kind of looks like a tree stump. Just on fire. Kind of looks like Bart Simpson. If Bart Simpson was a tree stump. The next one we have looks like sushi. Oh, no, or it's a fossil. I was going to say if it's sushi. Of all the foods I would eat out of the garbage, and let me just preface this by saying, 
Spot wouldn't eat trash food anyways, but the last thing I would want to eat is sushi. But that looks like a fossil. And that is, let me just look at this. I'm thinking it's excavated eggs, excavated trash. And sure enough, that is soiled shrimp. I was right, somewhat. Give me something, give partial points. It is a shrimp, but it's a fossilized shrimp, as the fact it is on a little uh, rock face. Neat looking piece though. Little peg holes on the undersides there if you want to put it onto something. So those are the two that are loose, loosey goosey. They come in little eggs. Sculpt on the front says trash pack. And on the back side there, it's just a little couple cracks and there's a little spider walking along there. Or it could be a crab. No, some sort of bug, I don't know. But uh, these just open up and you can take your trashy and put them in there, just like so. You could technically bury this out in the yard and then go looking for it. The worst part though is digging a hole, as I'm indicating here, let me bring the camera back as I'm telling my story, digging a hole and you put the egg in, put the dirt over top, you smooth it all out, you stand back with your arms crossed, you're like, wow, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to going looking for my egg. And then mom calls you inside for lunch or dinner, midnight snack, because I guess you dig holes in midnight. And then you won't know where these eggs are. I've done that before. I've dug holes for a GI Joe. I never did find him. I never found him. I never knew what happened to him. Maybe the earth just kind of sucked him in. I don't know. So we'll take the other egg. Scum scorcher will go in there. Let's put those to the side. All right, so let's, we've got three small ones that we haven't opened yet and one big one. We'll start with the smaller ones and work our way up to the bigger. Wow, this one is extremely dense. It almost feels like it's plastic. Yet the other ones were more rubbery. I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know why. I'm not sure. Let's check though. This one, I don't think we're gonna have as much luck he looks like a frog. That might be something we can work with, possibly. Um, animals, maybe? No, 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 no. Maybe down here, excavated trash? No, it's not that. I don't know what this guy is. I don't know. I'm trying to go by the coloring. That's usually one thing that can help you. Look for something white with yellow eyes. Oh, that's why. He is sewage slug. He's hard boiled trash. Maybe that's why they're a little harder in, in uh, material. Hard boiled trash, and this is sewage, sewage slug. All right, that works for me. I'm good with that. The next egg, open this up, put these to the side. The next egg gives us, what is this guy? He looks like a mountain. A mountain with bones in his head. He is, oh, he's dino poop. Oh, that's lovely. I think we've actually seen this guy before, depending on where you guys watch my videos. Maybe you're watching this video now and then you're gonna watch a video that I did like four years ago. Wow, been on YouTube for that long, eh? Um, I think we've done this, I think they've made this guy before in the UFT, Ultimate Fighting Trashies. Although he had hands, so he's probably been re-sculpted. This is as far as I'm probably going to come to holding poop in my hand, a little trashy poop. Put him to the side. The final small egg reveals to us, oh, this one's also hard. He's like a little buzzard, some speckles of dirt on him. He is, so I'm gonna assume he's hard boiled again. And he is Grimmy Gull. Now there's a couple of different colors. There's about four different colors. This is kind of a darker, kind of like a grayish, beige gray, give or take. They live up to their name. They're much harder than the regular trashies. And then we have this, the Lone Big Egg. By the way, uh, do you know how many eggs it takes for a French chef to make an omelet? Usually one egg is enough. That was a little French hint. 
Okay, it wasn't my greatest. So we're gonna open up the the large egg, and the large egg reveals to us a whole slew of trashies. I have to level with you. I don't have my knife with me, so this is all gonna be a hand opening review. The first one kind of looks like Oscar the Grouch that had gotten eaten by an alligator. The alligator just kind of crawled into Oscar's trash can, which apparently is like the TARDIS. It's extremely huge. He's got like an elephant down there and a family of worms. Okay, worms don't take up a lot of space, but that is Trashosaurus, which is right down there, Trashosaurus. He's also limited edition, according to the color that's there, Trashosaurus. The next one is another excavated by the fact that it's on a stone and boy I wish I had my knife right, right now this would make things so much easier you have no idea oh maybe you do maybe you do you know spot relies on my knife sometimes my knives to get stuff opened a lot easier excavated trash this is filtified fish Filth, oh, filth-fied fish. Filth-fied fish. That's like a tongue twister. I'm probably spitting everywhere. Filth, filth-fied fish. Wow, okay. The next one also looks like it is an excavated piece. Got this little guy here. He looks like when he was put on this rock, he was extremely nervous. Poor guy. I wish I had been there to help him out. This is Mucky Mite. Mucky Mite is a puke egg. I don't know. He looks neat though, I like his coloring. The yellow on the blue really works. Spot's forming quite a little collection of trashies here. That's the beauty of when you get these larger sets. Sometimes when you get the smaller sets, that's good. But when you get the big sets, like I'm talking big, like 12, wow. Big 12, but when we get 12, you get yourself a small collection very fast. This is Dreg Legs. That's what it says right there. Dreg Legs. Kind of looks like he's a worm. A little worm on a orange stone rock face. Continuing along that logic, we also have another one that's got a lot of these excavated trash uh, pack trashies here. The next one this guy was fossilized and his antenna fossilized through the rock. Ooh, that, that's going to hurt. Or that did hurt. This is runny roach. Right there, runny roach, which is also a puke egg. I don't know what the difference is between a puke egg and a hard-boiled trash. Well, I do know the hard-boiled... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. They're just regular ones, and then hard-boiled trash are all colored specifically different. There it is right there. Runny Roach. Continuing along, oh, it's a dinosaur. It's also, if I'm correct, I might be wrong. It is also my favorite dinosaur, at least my favorite dinosaur as a kid. I know probably people now gravitate by default. The cool thing to say is Raptor. What's your favorite dinosaur, Billy? Raptor! Um, any other dinosaurs? Raptor! As a kid, though, I really liked Triceratops. I don't think that's actually a Triceratops because it doesn't have... Well, it's got two horns in the front on his head, and he's got what might have been a horn on his nose. I think Triceratops means three horns. I'm not an archaeologist, guys. I just, I just like trash packs. This is probably extinct. This is Smellerops. Oh, and oh, I see what they did there. He's got a little clothespin on his nose because he smells. Or his friends smell. Him or his friends. Something is per is permitting, a, uh, is creating an odor. And he doesn't enjoy it. The last and final trashy in this adventure that we've had together also looks like something that's gone the way of a dodo. In fact, it could be a dodo. No, it's probably a, probably a pteranodon. This is Snotodactyl. See, I didn't know if you called them pterodactyls anymore. I'm so out of the loop. Loop is here, I am out of the loop, which is something you actually find with a lot of guys 
in their 30s and on. We think we know something we really don't. I used to think Brontosaurus was the dinosaur. Now it's Allosaurus, it's all these other names. I was going to just ballpark it and say that this was a pterodactyl. I was thinking somebody was going to say, no spot, it's a pteranodon. And then I would say, well, what's the difference? I don't really know. <laughs> Bless you. But no, this is Snotodactyl. He looks like something that would be sitting on the... Maybe he's like the mailbox for Fred Flintstone. The mailman just kind of puts the mail in his mouth. Fred comes home. Oh, what a day I've had. And it always comes up to something like the animal says, You think you've got it rough. And then it's like... Doo, 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 doo. There you go, guys. 12 pa uh, trash packs, rotten eggs that we've just had a look at. Today's collectible spot... I love trash packs. Today we're having a look, though, at Series 6, Rotten Eggs. Thanks for watching, as you always do, guys. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have more videos. Definitely more heading your way. See you next time.